हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन रिसी प्रोकेटिंग इंटरनल कैंपस इन इंजन फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड डायनामिक्स बाई टी डी स्टॉप एंड मिकॉन की द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर इज अ फोर सिलेंडर रेसिंग इंजन of capacity 2.495 liters has a bore of 94 mm and a compression ratio of 12 by 1 when tested against a dynamometer with a torque arm of 0.461 meter a maximum load of 622 newton was obtained at 5000 rpm and at the peak speed of 6750 rpm the load was 547 newton the minimum fuel consumption was 17.2 ml per second at a speed of 5000 rpm the specific gravity of the fuel being 0.735 and the net calorific value of the fuel is 44200 kJ per kg calculate the maximum bmep the maximum brake power the minimum specific fuel consumption and the maximum brake thermal efficiency at a maximum torque and compare this latter answer with the air standard efficiency so this was the statement if we note the information given in this statement and are given in the given data first of all we have given that there are four cylinders in the this engine and number of cylinders are four and capacity of the engine uh, is 2. Four nine five liters, and it is if it is if it is converted to cubic meter, it will become zero point zero zero two four nine five cubic meter. Dia of the bore uh, is ninety four mm, zero point nine four meter. Compression ratio is twelve by one. Torque arm is zero point four six one meter. Maximum load is six double two newton. and uh, the engine speed is 5000 rpm so if we convert it into rps it will become 83.3 uh, revolution per second the peak uh, engine speed is 6750 so if we convert it to uh, rps it will become uh, 112.5 rps and the corresponding uh, load for this uh, engine speed is 547 uh, newton the minimum fuel consumption uh, is uh, 17.2 ml per second uh, and at 5000 rpm so and the net calorific value is 44200 kJ per kg for this specific fuel so we are required to find these five parameters uh, one is the maximum bmep brake mean effective pressure the maximum brake power Uh, specific uh, fuel consumption this is basically the um, specific fuel consumption uh, which is uh, given to find the minimum uh, specific fuel consumption the maximum brake thermal efficiency at the maximum torque and we have to compare this with air standard efficiency so now coming to the solution of this problem first of all Uh, it is very convenient to find the maximum brake power and we have a very simple expression for that to find it uh, the maximum brake power of the engine will be equal to 2 pi n t max so here uh, we have to find t max and the maximum torque is found uh, from this expression w max into r w max is 6 2 on uh, newton and the r is 0.461 so the maximum torque is 286 uh, 
पॉइंट सेवन फार फोर न्यूटन मीटर सो इक्वेशन ए इफ वी एक्सप्रेस दिस मैक्सिमम ब्रेक पावर विद दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो द मैक्सिमम ब्रेक पावर विल बिकम टू पाए एन इज फाइव थाउजेंड आर पी एम सो इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू आर पी एस एंड इट इज फाइव थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी इन टू टी मैक्स इज टू एटी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन फोर सो इफ वी सिंप्लीफाई दिस वी गेट वन फिफ्टी पॉइंट वन फोर किलो वाट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग विच वी हैव फाउंड सेकेंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम ब्रेक मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर फॉर दिस वी हैव एन एक्सप्रेशन the uh, maximum break mean effective pressure is given by break power into 2 divided by al capital n into small n where a is the uh, area and l is the length of stroke uh, and combinedly uh, if we multiply this a and l it will become swept volume uh, n is the engine speed and small n is the number of cylinders so first of all we are interested to find this al which is the swift volume so it is uh, it will be calculated from the engine capacity engine capacity is given uh, and it is already converted to cubic meter and it is 0.002495 uh, we have a relationship for the engine capacity that is the um, total engine capacity is equal to swift volume into number of cylinders so swift volume will be calculated by engine capacity divided by number of cylinders so engine capacity is given and uh, number of uh, cylinders are also given so if we simplify this we get 6.2375 into 10 to the power minus 4 cubic meter which is the value of swift volume now coming to the expression b putting these values in the expression b so brake power is already calculated and it is 150 kilowatt So we uh, uh, in place of kilo we will write ten to the power three into two divided by this AL is replaced by swift volume which is six point two three into ten to the power minus four cubic meter capital N which is engine speed and it is already converted to uh, seconds divided by uh, that's why it has been divided by sixty uh, and uh, further small N is the number of cylinders the those are four and uh, it is divided also by 10 to the power 5 because the value which we uh, which we will get in the answer that is the break mean effective pressure uh, that will be in, uh, in the units of bar that's why it has been divided by 10 to the power 5 factor so uh, if we simplify this whole uh, calculations so we get 14.44 bar third we have to find the minimum specific fuel consumption we have an expression for this specific fuel consumption is equal to mass flow rate of the fuel divided by brake power so mass flow rate of the fuel is equal to fuel density into minimum minimum fuel consumption which is already given in the calculation so we have a relationship for specific gravity in this case uh, we have given brake power Uh, and already calculated in part 1 uh, here we have to find the mass flow rate of the fuel first so mass of uh, mass flow rate of the fuel will be calculated from the expression uh, over here uh, specific gravity into or density of water into minimum fuel consumption which is already given in the statement of the problem so specific gravity is 0.735 and uh, density of water is 1 uh, uh, 1 uh, kg per liter uh, in case of water 1 kg of water is equal to 1 liter of water so if we take 1000 kg of water it will be equal to 1000 liter of water Uh, and the relationship uh, here it has been simplified in the in this uh, expression this is the specific gravity expression which is the density of any uh, fuel or any fluid divided by density of water so mass flow rate mass flow rate of the fuel is calculated uh, here it is minimum fuel consumption multiplied 17.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 liter per second 
so the mass flow rate of the fuel is 0.01264 kilogram per second it if we simplify this we get this mass flow rate of the fuel now putting this value and expression c above so 0.01264 divided by brake power which is when 150.14 into 10 to the power 3 so it if we simplify it it will become 8.42 into 10 to the power minus 5 kilogram per kilowatt second so uh, if we want to get answer in per kilowatt hour we will multiply 36 3600 with this because in one hour we have 3600 seconds so in uh, kilogram per kilowatt hour the value of specific fuel consumption is 0 0.303 kilogram per kilowatt hour in last uh, section we have to find the maximum brake thermal efficiency we, uh, for that we have expression brake power divided by mass flow rate of the fuel into net calorific value of the fuel uh, so here uh, we know about these all values brake power is calculated in the first section 150.14 into 10 to the power 3 mass flow rate is calculated in section uh, 4 3 uh, and it is 0 0.001264 uh, also the net calorific value is 44200 uh, kilojoule per kilogram so it will be converted to joule uh, that's why 10 to the power 3 factor is multiplied over here so the maximum brake thermal efficiency is 0 0.2686 in percentage it is 46.86 percent uh, in the last section uh, we uh, asked to compare this value that is the brake thermal efficiency with the air standard efficiency for air standard efficiency we have expression 1 minus 1 over compression ratio over gamma minus 1 so gamma in this case gamma for air is 1.4 so 1.4 is here if we put and simplify it we get 0 0.63 in percentage it becomes 63 percent so by comparison we conclude that the air standard efficiency for this specific case is greater than the maximum brake thermal efficiency of the engine which is 26.86 percent so this was all about the solution of problem 13.4 thank you thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos